Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to solve question 6 from Nectar 2019 Form 4 Math Paper. So we start with question A is to do with currency conversion. We're told Mr. Ogango from Kenya visited Tanzania. He had 5,000 Kenyan shillings uh, and wanted to change the money into US dollars. If one US dollar is equivalent to 2,500 Tanzanian shillings, and one Kenyan shilling was equivalent to 20 Tanzanian shilling, how much US dollars did he get? So he has 5,000 Kenyan shillings and he wants to change them into dollars. Now, because he is in Tanzania, what needs to happen is we need to take his Kenyan shillings and then we need to change them into Tanzanian shillings first and then change the them into US dollars. So we need to do this first step, change the Kenyan shillings into Tanzanian shillings first, but we're told one Kenyan shilling, so one Kenyan shillings, that's equal to 20 Tanzanian shillings. Now if he's got 5,000 Kenyan shillings, okay, so that's going to be 20 times 5,000 Tanzanian shillings. Okay, so if we multiply that, 2 times 5 is a 10, and then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 100,000 Tanzanian shillings. So we've done that step because from 1 Kenya to 5,000 Kenyan shillings, we need to multiply by 5,000. So we have to do the same. We have to multiply 20 times 5,000 on this side too. Now what we need to do is change these Tanzanian shillings into dollars. Right, so we know 2,500 Tanzanian shillings, that's equal to 1 US dollar. Now we need to know how much will that be, 100,000 Tanzanian shillings, what will that be in US dollars? What we can do is use something that is called unitary method. So if we can find, because we have the shillings, we're going to change that into one shilling. So one shilling then, one Tanzanian shilling. So from there to there, to get a one, we need to divide by 2,500. We need to do the same on this side. So that's going to be one over 2,500 USD. Now to go from uh, 1 Tanzanian shillings, now we need to go to 100,000 Tanzanian shillings. So 100,000 Tanzanian shillings. Well, from there to there, you need to multiply by 100,000. And that's what we need to do on this side. So 1 over 2,500 times 100,000. Okay, so that cancels. And there's 1 of 25 there. And there is a 4 and a 100 and a 0. So 1 times a 40 is just a 40. Now you can conclude this is 40 USD. So therefore, 5,000 Kenyan shillings is going to be equal to 40 US dollars. And that's the answer for, for uh, 6A. And now for B, we're told a gardener has found the time T to cut the grass on a square field varies directly as a square of its length. So we got a uh, square here uh, directly and inversely as a number of men doing that job. If five men cut grass on a field of side uh, 50 meters in three hours, how many more men are required to cut grass on a field of side 100 meter in five hours? Assume that the men are working on the same pace. Right, so let's just put all this in uh, some sort of mathematics to start with. So a gardener has found that time t, so t is directly proportional to the square of its length. So L squared, and then inversely, so that goes here as a denominator to the number of men. Okay, so that is the mathematical uh, expression of that. Now, with regards to all this data that you're given, I would advise you to put it on the side first. So the first lot of data says five men, they cut the grass. So five, and M equals five. 
uh, these guys cut 50 meter length so L equals to 50 and they spend three hours to do that job so T is equal to three hours and the second lot of information that we have how many more men so we we need to find the number of men here to know how many more men uh, and we got a length is 100 uh, meters so let's put those uh, uh, length meters here and then time is five hours right so in order to work with this now we need to remove this symbol of proportionality and introduce a constant of proportionality so let's do that t is going to be equal to k l squared over m now we don't know what k is now uh, but from this first lot of information we have t we have l and we have m so that means we can find k so let's uh, let us make k the subject first so k is going to be equal this time that so tm over l square now if we put the values in k is going to be equal t is going to be 3 and m is 5 for that lot and then l is 50 but we need 50 squared so k is going to be equal to 3 times 5 over 50 square that's going to be 2500 if you simplify this you get one five there and then five five here and a zero zero so therefore k is going to be equal to three over 500 so now we can go ahead and put that k into this formula then let's so t is going to be equal to k which is three now going to be l squared over 500 m what do we need we need to know what m is so we need to make m the subject of the formula so we cross multiply here and then we get m equals to 3l squared over 500t now we've got a second lot of information here we need uh, so we're just going to put the values in of l and t so therefore m is equal to 3 what is l 100 so 100 squared over 500 times t is 5 uh, so this will give you 3 times 100 square that will be 10,000 divided by 500 uh, times 5 or obviously that will give you 25 but let's just cross this out so uh, two of, of them will go 5 times 5 is 25 so 100 divided by uh, 25 is 4 so this will be 4 here and then 3 times 4 is 12 so therefore m is going to be 12 but your what you've been asked to say is how many more men will be required to do this job so we know the first lot of job they did, uh, it uh, they needed five men. Now they need 12 men. So they need how many more men? They need 12, um, take away five, which is seven. So um, therefore, seven more men will be required because you do 12, take away five. And the difference between the first one and the second one will give you seven. And that's the answer for 6B. So thank you for watching. Bye for now.